Hey friends, Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. My friends over at Greenstock sent me the Leaf Greenstock Planter. I'd mentioned to you all that I had been eyeing this when I saw it at Jessica's. It was just the cutest little planter and I had lots of big dreams for it. Um, and so I'm so glad that they sent me this. Thank you, Greenstock. I'm actually going to put it together plant it today and then Ashley told me that it is actually interchangeable with the five tier planter which I have over here and so that actually really excites me as well I got the brown I've got the green so I'm gonna kind of do some mix match in here and see if I can't um, kind of interchange these together and see what we come up with I bought some more plants surprise surprise <laughs> So I bought some more plants, but we're gonna put this together and then plant it, and I'm just really excited. So the green sock is actually really easy to install. I watched Nathan do it the first time, but I have since filled up my green stock, moved it around myself. I'm gonna be installing this one myself. It's been a really good option for me, someone who's kind of limited on bed space. Like my beds are all kind of accounted for. And so those things like those leafy greens and maybe some herbs that I don't have the space in the garden to do, I really like just being able to uh, throw them in these green stalks. It's just been really nice. I got the mover with this just because it's a lot easier if I'm wanting to move it around. And I have been rotating mine, that way it gets full sun on all. Uh, parts because it is kind of shaded a bit uh, the part that's back up against uh, the greenhouse all right so there's the top this is actually the watering system you fill this up and then it will just uh, trinkle all the way down I'll kind of explain that to you guys um, on how this works but that is the top part here are all the little cylinders that you'll put in each tier which will actually funnel the water out of all the tiers sweet so they sent me the leafy green seed bundle uh, which is really cool Let's open this up whoops they sent some of my favorite seeds botanical interest so they sent me some dino kale some bloomsdale spinach chef's medley arugula red russian kale and butter crunch lettuce that's really cool because i do not have enough starts i didn't buy enough starts to fill everything so i'll definitely go through and plant like the arugula and the chef's medley i have a lot of spinach already i don't have any dino kale started so that'll be nice here are the pieces for the mover um and this actually explains to you how to do it which is really nice i don't think i had this before maybe i did and just overlooked it uh, but that just tells you how to install it. Ah, y'all, green side, I'm so impressed with y'all. <laughs> they sent me stickers, y'all know. I'm a sucker for stickers. <laughs> so I have this cone flower, which is really pretty. It matches my tattoos. And then this cute little green stalk. And then they sent me some organic bush beans, which was also my plan, was to plant some of these fillers. So I'll just go ahead and use those seeds. That was really sweet. So very nice. You guys know I love supporting businesses that I think are doing it well. And Greenstock is one of those companies. They are made in the US. They're based out of Tennessee. They're a family owned organization. I think they're just doing it really well. They're making an impact where it matters. They are offering a solution to a lot of people. And that's people who wanna grow food but they don't have enough space. And so I can respect that. I can respect what their family's doing. It's also a very well made product. Um, I love my Greenstock. I'm happy to have another one. If you guys want to get your hands on one of these, you can use my code WWFARM. I'll put it right here and it'll get you $10 off, uh, which is really nice. I feel like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> I'm actually really glad to, I really wanted the, the leaf and I'm glad because I want to show you guys the comparisons to be able to show you this one and just the regular tower. But as you can kind of already see here, if you are familiar with the green stock planters at all, the other one's taller, they have longer uh, pockets, but these pockets are kind of squatty. Uh, they're definitely like deep, they're good. Um, but I like that because the things that I was planting, I, I noticed that they didn't really need that deep pocket. Uh, I thought the squatty pocket would work just fine. Another difference between the leaf 
and my original is my original is a five tier and the leaf and the leaf is a seven tier so you are getting two uh, additional tiers but let's go ahead and just put this thing together pretty basic I'm just I didn't even read the instructions how many of you guys oh! <laughs> the wind is kicking uh, how many of you guys don't actually read instructions, right? I spent like 30 minutes the other day trying to figure out how to put together an oscillating fan. And I finally recruited Nathan and he was like, well, did you read the instructions? I was like, oh, people do that? Thankfully, I already have one of these, so I kind of knew. Those are installed. The hose for the excess water goes right here. Pretty simple. All right, so now we just start assembly. I will tell you, this is probably one of the most key things I can tell you. If you have bought a green stock or you're thinking about buying a green stock, soil is everything. They will tell you to pick a good quality soil and they will tell you to fill to the top of the soil line. And I can tell you the first year I had a green stock, I did not follow those instructions well. I did not buy the best quality soil because they didn't have it at the store. And you know me, I was impatient. I wanted to get it planted. Well, my things could have done a lot better and it was not a representation of green stock at all. It was just, I chose bad soil. So this time around, I shopped around. Um, my stores didn't have what I wanted. Today I was actually traveling to another town and I, fall, I found a farm and home store and so I pulled in there and they had really good options um, and so I bought those and so I would tell you don't skimp out on the soil. It is kind of the make or break. Um, and if this is your only way you're gardening too and you think about your investment, you know this is a, a much more reasonable investment than a raised bed garden and so do not skimp out on your soil. It's going to be, you know, the life and the longevity of your plant. So just do it well, do it right. All right, so as you guys can see here, I just have this in here. Now, since I am going to be interchanging these with the green stock I ha have, I am just going to take um, all of these and I'm gonna spread them out and fill them up with soil. And then I'm gonna end up taking apart my other green stock and then putting them back together. Uh, I will show you guys the soil that I am using. Uh, I have never seen this soil before. It was so funny, like I was getting so excited about soil and compost and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Um, but I found this organic mushroom compost, y'all. I've never seen this before. The price was like, I went in and I asked later, I was like, are you sure this is the right price? She said it was, so I kind of stocked up. And it is called Just Natural. It's a natural and organic uh, mushroom compost. This is really good for like top dressing as well. This bag's kind of busted. You guys can see this is just a good, I mean, it's amazing. It's full of all sorts of stuff. And then that same brand had this organic uh, raised bed planting mix with worm castings. I've never seen this either. It says it was really good for herbs and vegetable gardens. And so it's 100% organic, locally sourced, and um, produced. And so I went ahead and grabbed a couple bags of those. I'm actually going to be mixing the two uh, just to make sure that I'm getting, you know, the consistency that I'm comfortable with. So my plan is to fill up most of um, each tier with this raised bed mix and then to go through and add the last few inches with that compost since it is kind of meant for top dressing or amending and that's kind of my plan and then it will naturally just kind of feed the soil over time. This is really good soil though like that looks amazing. Oh yeah I'm excited.
All right, so now I'm just adding that top layer of this mushroom compost. I'll tell you, it smells a little ripe. Been outside, so it's very, very wet. Wow, this is some rich soil. Well, I am now really, really stinky, but that is okay. I have got them all filled up. Now, I did mention that, you know, it says fill the soil to the top. I do recommend that, especially when you're thinking about, you know, soil is the life system of your plants, right? It is the healthy ecosystem that your plants are able to establish roots in, which is going to allow them to put their energy where they need to go into producing the fruit and the vegetables that we get to eat. And so when you think about the life system of your plants being in this small little pocket of soil you really want to make sure that you're choosing good quality soil and that there's enough soil in there um, that way that you know it's not your plants not soaking up all the nutrients in the soil and then your plant uh, isn't producing as well as it could so for me I definitely fill these bad boys up to the top because I just want to give my plants enough soil and enough nutrients to thrive and do really well obviously don't we all so now I'm going to take apart my five tier planter and we're gonna get a little creative and we're gonna see what I can't do here. I'm actually really excited. This is probably what I'm most excited about. But I got some more um, red lettuce I got down here. I'm gonna be planting. I got just some curly kale because I don't actually have any of that. And then I got some chives. So let's get it going. I can explain to you guys about the little circular uh, disc that we get in our green stock. So this will go down, you'll take your green stock, you'll fill it full of dirt like what I just said, and then you'll actually plop one of these uh, discs down in here and that's simply it. You just push it down in there and what that is doing once we get them all stacked at each tier, uh, we'll go ahead and lay one of those discs. At the very top of your green stalk, I'll explain this at the end, you actually fill this up and it's like that drip system and it'll drip down and make sure that it's watering all the pockets uh, evenly. is pretty stinking cute I don't know I think I like it look at that isn't that cute I think I'm gonna keep it like this I don't know I will do the other one starting with the brown on the bottom so the leaf and we'll see what happens bit a little bit of a sweat the storm is coming in um, I really like this look how cute that is however I'm off so I've got one extra and that's because the leaf is a seven tier because they're not as deep of pockets and then the other green stalk I had that had the deeper pockets is the five tier so you guys can see here's a really good side by side uh, you can see how deep these are and how these are a bit squattier um, I don't know I just really really like the look of this i think it's really cute together but just for the sake of not wasting pockets i am probably going to take it back apart and just put together the leaf and then have this one and have them on either side of the greenhouse i do think it's really cool though um, if you guys are looking into a green stock to know that they are interchangeable uh, like that but i'm going to try to get all these switched back around next vlog maybe you'll see an update of these beautiful green socks uh, sitting on either side of my little hoop house 
uh, kind of spice it up, make it a little bit pretty. Uh, but if you guys have been eyeing a green stalk or you want one, they are super easy to install and plant as you just saw. I did it all by myself. Uh, you can uh, use the link below to purchase and use my code for additional $10 off. But thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.